So Elon Musk embarrasses Putin again, according to media outlets. Now, um, what's just happened is that Elon Musk's Starlink app has become the most downloaded app in Ukraine. Now, um, I would have to say that probably would and does embarrass Putin. Um, And look, there's a lot of people out there who've been giving lip service to helping Ukraine. Um, And there's a lot of people out there attacking the billionaires. But Elon Musk is a billionaire doing good in this war and in business, I believe. And Elon Musk is not someone who just tweets words, but he tweets actions. So what's happened is um, Elon Musk's app that's linked to Starlink, his replacement internet for Ukraine, which he offered, by the way, in response to a plea from the Ukrainian vice PM. This has now become the highest downloaded app in Ukraine. Um, Apparently, it's broken uh, download day records. Um, So, look, there's a lot of people out there hating on billionaires, but only a billionaire could do this. Only a billionaire could give an entire country uh, internet service. Certainly no zero air could do that. Certainly no critic or hater could do that. So I think this is an amazing thing that Elon Musk has done. Um, So... Elon Musk rushed to help Ukraine um, amid its ongoing invasion of Russia by deploying a number of Starlink terminals which provide SpaceX's satellite internet. Now, um, the data for the most downloaded app in Ukraine, much to probably Putin and Russia's embarrassment, has come from Sensor Tower, um, which provide App Store and Google Play data. Uh, And the Wall Street Journal was told told that the app has been downloaded nearly 100,000 times, um, with global downloads more than tripling in the last two weeks. And apparently it broke the record for the most global installs in a single day, a majority of which were from inside Ukraine. Um, Natalie has said, Elon Musk is bonkers, but his actions say a lot. I think actions speak louder than words. Uh, And I think billionaires are given a rough ride. And um, look, you can't help a war between two countries if you're a zero. (laughs) And let's be honest, the billionaires can do something about it. Uh, And there's a big tax grab and there's a big hate campaign on billionaires. Um, uh, And so actually, I would say that um, I said this, in fact, I said, would you rather give Elon Musk 10 billion of tax paid money to invest, or would you rather give the government 10 billion of tax paid money? Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you rather give 10 billion of tax paid money to invest in resources to Elon Musk or to the government? Uh, and I said, Elon Musk, I think he would deploy it better if he were given those resources because Elon Musk, has, Elon Musk, <laughs> yeah, Elon Busking, Elon Musk has deployed billions to build satellite internet to build rockets to go to Mars, to build battery-powered cars. These are all things that I think progress humanity. And now when there's a war, he's able to give internet access to Ukraine under invasion, um, which I think is a great thing. And apparently as well, the satellite Starlink internet access is good because it's um, less penetrable than other um, communication systems. Now, um, Ruth is saying here, you seriously have no idea about what's going on. Well, enlighten me, Ruth, because everyone thinks they know what's going on. Um, But remember, me included, by the way, I can only access the media I'm shown. So I do try and look at different media outlets, try and get what I believe to be a balanced um, view. I do understand that I am not Elon Musk's best friend. I am not Putin, 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 Putin. I'm not Putin's aide. I'm not um, in the cabinet or in the government and nor are any of you. So I can only see the information I'm given. So I try and get a balanced perspective. And also my brand is Disruptors. 
So when everyone hates on billionaires, I'm going to show you a different side. When everyone is complaining and moaning about what's going on in this war, I'm going to tell you that Elon, Elon Musk has actually done something about it. And he's given an entire country internet access. Now, by the way, in a war, if you now know, have no way to exchange information, you're going to lose that war. This is why the sanctions have cut information and financial resources to and from Russia in a bid to suffocate the war because war needs money and war needs information because information is propaganda. And Elon Musk has given Ukraine an entire internet. Anyone here who's saying, oh, Rob, you, this is not true. This is not really what's going on. You know, look at what Elon Musk really is about. Well, did you give the Ukraine internet connection? <laughs> no. I just think sometimes Elon Musk and the billionaires get an unfair rap. Um, I also, you know, I'm a big fan of you becoming wealthy and doing good with that money. I'm a big fan that um, money is not the root of all evil. Money can be the root of all good. Were Elon Musk a zero where he wouldn't have been able to give the whole country internet? Anyway, let me know what you, your thoughts are in the comments. Um, I'm, up, I'm always up for discussions. I believe in free speech, which means I believe in my freedom of speech and not to be cancelled or deplatformed by big tech. Um, also, I believe in your ability to have free speech, to disagree with me or agree with me, to share your own research and ask for, to discuss. You will never be banned from my page just because you don't agree with me. You will if you um, ab abuse and bully and troll. But other than that, you stay on my page and we discuss. And just because I don't agree with you doesn't mean I shouldn't be open to your opinion. Um, and I would encourage us all not to hate on each other just because of a differing opinion. Uh, Dave Ramsey says all debt is bad. I disagree. He wrote a page saying debt is bad and debt is dumb. I put three reasons why good debt is good. Um, and man, there was probably 500 hate comments on me for just disagreeing with Dave Ramsey. What is going on in the world that we hate because we disagree? There will be no wars if we don't hate people who disagree with us. There will be no cancel culture, no deplatforming and no violation of your freedom of speech and property rights if we don't if we didn't hate on people just because they don't agree with our opinion or our narrative. This has to change. So wars are not just turf wars, land wars, property wars, country wars, political wars, their information wars, their disagreement wars, their ego wars wars. Like, you would not want to follow me if every time you disagreed with me on my social, I banned you. I cancelled you from my social media. You would not want to follow me if I hated on you or trolled on you just because you disagreed with me. You would not want to follow me. And by the way, I will push back if I disagree with you. Don't come on my page and say, you don't have no idea what's going on in the world, Rob. You seriously have no clue without telling me what you think actually is going on in the world and showing me your own research and data. Come on, you'd accuse me of um, being somewhat of a um, megalomaniac if I did that myself. Oh, the narcissists are out. Show some research. Let's have a discussion. This is as much about the freedom of speech and the freedom of information as it is the freedom of a country and the freedom of property rights. Believe me. So some of you have said, what am I talking about here? All right, if you just tuned in, Elon Musk has embarrassed Putin because um, the Starlink app is the highest downloaded app in the Ukraine. And the Starlink app is a link to the satellite internet that Elon Musk gave Ukraine. Uh, and that is pretty embarrassing for Russia and Putin. Um, 100,000 downloads have been um, downloaded in Ukraine. Uh, and Elon Musk, the billionaire, has given most of the country a backup internet when Russia are trying to break their communications down, which is, of course, what you do in a war. Uh, and a zero air couldn't do that. And how many haters on billionaires and haters on Elon Musk, of which there are many, have actually done anything? How many? That would be a nada. Now, what happened in this story, if you haven't seen this story, by the way, hit the share button. This is really important. Our freedom of information, our freedom of speech, as well as our freedom of property rights and liberty. This is absolutely vital and we must fight for it. And I will not shut up until big tech stop cancelling us. Mainstream media stop um, accusing us of misinformation. Until the propaganda stops, until information is balanced. We should all be able to disagree without cancelling hating, deplatforming, censoring or killing each 
other. What has the world come to? We should be more evolved as a society now. Does it piss me off if you troll me? Yeah. But am I going to troll you back for trolling me? Well, no. Am I going to disagree with you vehemently? Yes. Am I going to get a, let you get away with talking shit? No. But just because you disagree with me doesn't give me the right to cancel you or ban you or deplatform you. That, by the way, some people say, well, Rob, there's a lot of hate on your social media. That's why. Because I don't delete the hate. I don't delete the criticism. I don't delete the trolling. Only the abuse. By the way, I can sometimes learn something from my critics. So can you. And so can Elon Musk. And so could Putin. And so could Trudeau. And so could Boris Johnson. I might disagree with you, but I still love you and I will still fight for your freedom of speech, even if I disagree with you. Don't hate on the billionaires unless you really know them. Um, And by the way, billionaires like Elon Musk are doing a lot of good in the world. Believe you me, they are. You can't give billions away if you haven't made billions. Now, what happened here was the um, vice prime minister of Ukraine pleaded via a tweet to Elon Musk. And I'll quote, he said, At Elon Musk, while you tried to colonise Mars, Russia tried to occupy Ukraine. While your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets attack Ukrainian civil people. We ask you to provide Ukraine with Starlink stations and to address sane Russians to stand. Within 10 hours, that was done. Within two days, all of the hardware was delivered. That's what a billionaire can do. That's what an entrepreneur can do. That's what someone who fights for the freedom of speech can do. That's what you can do by hitting the share button. That's what I can do by using my social media for good and commenting on all of these things that are fighting against our freedom, our liberty, our freedom of speech, our freedom of information, our freedom of opinion. Make no mistake, my friends, your freedom of speech is under threat. And just because it doesn't seem to affect you directly because you're not in Ukraine doesn't mean it's not affecting you directly. Just because it's affecting the truckers in Canada having their accounts seized and freezed just for donating to or being part of a, a protest. How, how wrong is it? How much of a violation of someone's freedom is it to have their personal bank account seized or frozen because they went on a peaceful protest? That's completely wrong. Yet it happened in Canada and they're going to get away with it. It's completely wrong to shut down the entire country yet have a party every month in government. Yet they're going to get away with it. Make no mistake, there's propaganda. Your freedom of speech is under attack by governments and big tech. And we must fight. And we must applaud and salute and celebrate people like Elon Musk, the billionaires doing good with their social media. You know, a lot of people say, oh, social media is just, you know, it's just, it just gets addictive. It's triggering. It doesn't do the world any good. Well, Elon Musk was tweeted and within 10 hours, He'd given most of a country internet under war. I'd say that's a pretty positive use of social media. Social media can be used for good. I'm passionate about this subject, as you can see. If you are, please hit the share button. We need to use our social media for good. I'm an entrepreneur and I help entrepreneurs start and scale their business. Get better financial education and knowledge. Create multiple streams of recurring income. Build their personal brand. Build digital assets. Become a content creator. And I'm interrupting my usual, you know, five ways to be an entrepreneur type content so that I can talk about these more important global world views. You should do the same. You should use your social media as a force for good, your profile to share topical information. So if you um, are up for doing that, then please hit the share button. Do your own content if you want to hit the share button and put your own take on my content. Now, if you want to follow me and make sure that you get my uncensored, undeplatformable content, go to robmore.com forward slash pod. That's robmore.com forward slash pod. Because there you can subscribe to my podcast, Disruptors. It's the only platform I can't get cancelled. I can't get deplatformed. I can't get warned. I can't get censored. I can't get a shadow ban. I can't get a seven day ban. I can't get a 28 day ban. There's words I cannot say on social media like this because I do fear that I will be cancelled or banned or deplatformed. And I don't want to be because otherwise I won't have a voice. 
So I'm not hating on big tech. I want to use big tech. But I can't. If I say certain words, I can't say <coughs> COVID, <coughs> lockdown, <coughs> vaccine. Can't say the words. Say the words, you see the warning. Say the words, your video can just get shut down. Say the words and your um, platform can get shut down. So if you go to robmore.com forward slash pod, then you can get my podcast disruptors. You can also get some special gifts from me. If you want to be a creator, you want to use your social media for good. You want to build a personal brand and you want to monetize it. But make sure once you pop your details in, you go to the thank you page. That's where you can download my podcast disruptors. I've got some big disruptive in, um, guests coming, by the way. Some big world leaders and thought leaders. I used to interview just entrepreneurs. Okay. Um, <laughs> so let's have a look. Lorna said, stop jigging around like a three-year-old. No, 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 no. I'm going to jig all I like on subjects I'm passionate about. Um, Maria has said, oh my God, you have no idea about Elon Musk. The amount of people that say, oh my God, you have no idea about what's going on in the world, but then can't tell me what's going on in the world. Or, oh my God, you have no idea about Elon Musk, but don't have, actually know what's going on with Elon Musk or can't prove anything. Are you Elon Musk's aide? Are you Elon Musk's friend? Tell me what's going on with Elon Musk. Tell me what you think is going on in the world. Let's discuss it. Let's debate it. If you can show me some good evidence and research, I will read it. I will follow up with it. I'm doing my best to do the same. But not enough people out there fighting for a freedom of speech, fighting to support the billionaires who are fighting for a freedom of speech. Too many people criticising and trolling and not doing anything about it. While Elon Musk has given Ukraine the entire country internet. <laughs> That's pretty freaking good. And we can all learn from that, I think. And it looks like Putin could be somewhat embarrassed by it. So thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button. Let's discuss this in the comments. Give me your take on it. Remember this. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Remember this. Fear screams loudest when it's dying. Mainstream media is scared. That's why there's cancel culture. That's why they threaten you with misinformation. And that word misinformation is now a weapon. There is cancel culture. There is deplatforming. There is banning, shadow banning. There is all this going on with big tech, with mainstream media, because it's scared, because it is losing against Joe Rogan, losing against individual creators, losing against um, the decentralization economy, You're losing against the creator economy, losing against YouTubers and podcasters and individual creators like you and me. Mm, fear screams loudest when it's dying. Dictators and totalitarian re regimes are scared because they're losing power. Fear screams loudest when it's dying. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Elon Musk's Starlink app is the most downloaded app in the Ukraine. Pretty embarrassing for Putin. Uh, and Elon Musk has given an entire country a secure internet, more impenetrable than other forms of communication. I say we salute Elon Musk for it and we stop hating on the billionaires and we stop trying to take all their money through tax grabs when actually... Let me ask you one more time. Would you rather give Elon Musk 10 billion of taxpayers' money to invest in resources, or would you rather give the government 10 billion in taxpaid money to invest in resources? Let me know what you think. And if you disagree with me, then give me some research. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button. Got to get out of here. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.